Hey, what's up guys, it's um, Ron Pred here and today what I'll be bringing you guys is day number 20 of the 25 DNA bombs of Christmas. The gameplay you'll be watching in the background is a Care 5 DNA bomb on the map Biolab. It's between the 3.5 to 4 minute range, I think it's like a 3 minute 48 second DNA bomb, which isn't the fastest, but it's like a reasonable pace for this series, so I'm quite happy with the gameplay and it was definitely one of my first attempts. But look at this play right here. Destroy that guy off the sea flag, turn around and kill his buddy using the same method of shooting those uh, like nuclear reactor chamber things. I don't know what they were, they were but they're pretty cool. I kind of like using them to my advantage because uh, they're definitely very, very powerful. And I definitely recommend you guys using them to your advantage if you guys want to get that, those simple kills. Because if you're stuck in an awkward situation where like an enemy is behind cover nearby it, then shoot one of them and they will die within an instant. It's definitely very powerful. I don't even flat. I don't even think flak jacket does anything against it. It's just really, really strong, and it's that strong that I've killed myself with it many times before as well. And I'm pretty sure you guys can admit to doing the same thing too because it is very powerful. And sometimes it does catch you off guard, but when you get to know it very well, I know I'm saying it as if, if it's, as if it's that got personality or whatever. But once you get to know how to use it, it's very, very effective when you're in like a situation like that like I was earlier and the way I got like a nice little two piece there was kind of cool so if you guys could drop a like rating for that that would be pretty sweet but yeah that's pretty much it with the gameplay uh, the KF5 as a gun as a, in general is a pretty strong gun actually I take that back it's a pretty good gun not very strong but it's got a pretty strong like strong and I don't know why I say it's not strong but it's got a like, nice fire rate to to like compensate with it I do like the gun I do think it's the second best gun in the category behind the ASM1 I think the ASM1 probably is the best gun in the game as of now because of the amount of buffs it's had as well as just being extremely good so that's pretty much it regarding the guns and the gameplay but today I'm going to be asking you guys a question which I'd like you guys to answer in the comment section down below it literally takes like a one second answer so what I'm going to be asking you guys is should I do a Q&A video on the 24th day which is obviously Christmas Eve or day number 24 so let me know yes or no that's all I need to know is just yes or no and the majority vote will get either a Q&A or there won't be so it's all down to you guys and uh, it'll be nice to see how many comments we can get saying yes or no because I'm expecting everyone who watches this to at least drop a comment saying yes or no because it literally takes like half a second to type three characters or two it's up to you guys so It'd be kind of cool if we can do it because I did get a suggestion to do it on day 25. However, I don't really want to do it on day 25 because I do want to be talking about something else. Either either fe either either <laughs> what am I on about either festive or actually about the gameplay in the background, which will obviously be the better gameplay of the series, which I'm not going to give away at all. So I'll leave it there. So I'd like to give a thank you to my friend Phil, by the way, or Tragic in this gameplay because he did actually help me get the DNA bomb because when we was getting close on time near on time near the game ending uh, he did let me get the kills for my DNA bomb like right here as I advanced towards this field and he left those two guys for me to get so I'd like to thank him for that That's much appreciated it's actually one of the first games I've actually uploaded on my channel that actually isn't solo it's literally like the complete opposite of how I played on ghosts on ghosts I couldn't play solo when advanced warfare I really could but I don't know it is what it is hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay have a great day guys and I'll see you tomorrow